The British Isles are a group of islands off the northwestern coast of continental Europe that consist of the islands of Great Britain, Ireland and over 6,000 smaller isles. Two sovereign states are located on the islands, Ireland and the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland. The British Isles also include three dependencies of the British Crown, the Isle of Man and, by tradition, the Bailiwick of Jersey and the Bailiwick of Guernsey in the Channel Islands. Although the latter are not physically a part of the archipelago, the oldest rocks in the group are in the northwest of Scotland, Ireland and North Wales and are 2,700 million years old. During the Silurian period the northwestern regions collided with the southeast, which had been part of a separate continental land mass. The topography of the islands is modest in scale by global standards. Then Nevis rises to an elevation of only 1,344 meters, and Loch Ness, which is notably larger than other lakes on the Isles, covers 390 square kilometers. The climate is temperate marine, with mild winters and warm summers. The North Atlantic drift brings significant moisture and raises temperatures 11 degrees Celsius above the global average for the latitude. This led to a landscape which was long dominated by temperate rainforest. Although human activity has since cleared the vast majority of forest cover, the region was re-inhabited after the last glacial period of quaternary glaciation. By 12,000 BC when Great Britain was still a peninsula of the European continent, Ireland, which became an island by 12,000 BC, was not inhabited until after 8,000 BC. Great Britain became an island by 5600 BC. Hiberni, Pictish and Britain's tribes, all speaking into the Celtic, inhabited the islands at the beginning of the first millennium AD. Much of Britonic-controlled Britain was conquered by the Roman Empire from AD 43. The first Anglo-Saxons arrived as Roman power waned in the 5th century and eventually dominated the bulk of what is now England. Viking invasions began in the 9th century, followed by more permanent settlements and political change, particularly in England. The subsequent Norman conquest of England in 1066 and the later Angevin partial conquest of Ireland from 1169 led to the imposition of a new Norman, ruling elite across much of Britain and parts of Ireland. By the late Middle Ages, Great Britain was separated into the kingdoms of England and Scotland. While control in Ireland fluxed between Gaelic kingdoms, Hiberno-Norman lords and the English-dominated lordship of Ireland, soon restricted only to the Pale. The 1603 Union of the Crowns, Acts of Union 1707 and Acts of Union 1800 attempted to consolidate Britain and Ireland into a single political unit. The United Kingdom of Great Britain and Ireland, with the Isle of Man and the Channel Islands remaining as crown dependencies. The expansion of the British Empire and migrations following the Irish famine and Highland clearances resulted in the distribution of the islands, population and culture throughout the world and a rapid depopulation of Ireland in the second half of the 19th century. Most of Ireland seceded from the United Kingdom after the Irish War of Independence and the subsequent Anglo-Irish Treaty, with six counties remaining in the UK as Northern Ireland. The term British Isles is controversial in Ireland, where there are objections to its usage due to the association of the word British with Ireland. The Government of Ireland does not recognise or use the term and its embassy in London discourages its use. As a result, Britain and Ireland is used as an alternative description, and Atlantic Archipelago has had limited use among a minority in academia. Although British Isles is still commonly employed within them, they are also sometimes referred to as these islands. Etymology The earliest known references to the islands as a group appeared in the writings of seafarers from the ancient Greek colony of Massalia. The original records have been lost, however, later writings, e.g., Avinus's or a Maritima, that quoted from the Massaliote Periplus and from Pythesis on the ocean have survived.
In the 1st century BC, Diodorus Siculus has Prytanite Nessos, the British island, and Prytanoi, the Britons. Strabo used Beta Rho Epsilon Tau Tau Alpha Nu Iota Caparator, and Martian of Heracli, in his Pera Plus Mara Sixtiri, used Alpha Pi Rho Epsilon Tau Tau Alpha Nu Iota Kappa Alpha Iota Nu Sigma Rho Micron Iota to refer to the islands. Historians today, though not in absolute agreement, largely agree that these Greek and Latin names were probably drawn from native Celtic language names for the archipelago. Along these lines, the inhabitants of the islands were called the Pyro Epsilon Tau Tau Alpha Nu Omicron Iota. The shift from the P of Britannia to the B of Britannia by the Romans occurred during the time of Julius Caesar. The classical writer, Ptolemy, referred to the larger island as Great Britain and to Ireland as Little Britain in his work, Almagest. In his later work, Geography, he gave these islands the names Alwyn, Sik e Wernia, and Mona, suggesting these may have been native names of the individual islands not known to him at the time of writing Almagest. The name Albion appears to have fallen out of use sometime after the Roman conquest of Great Britain, after which Britain became the more common place name for the island called Great Britain. The earliest known use of the phrase British Isles in the English language is dated 1577 in a work by John Dee. Today, this name is seen by some as carrying imperialist overtones although it is still commonly used. Other names used to describe the islands include the Anglo-Celtic Isles, Atlantic Archipelago, British Irish Isles, Britain and Ireland, UK and Ireland, and British Isles and Ireland. Owing to political and national associations with the word British, the government of Ireland does not use the term British Isles and in documents drawn up jointly between the British and Irish governments. The archipelago is referred to simply as these islands. Nonetheless, British Isles is still the most widely accepted term for the archipelago. Geography The British Isles lie at the juncture of several regions with past episodes of tectonic mountain building. These orogenic belts form a complex geology that records a huge and varied span of Earth's history. Of particular note was the Caledonian orogeny during the Ordovician period. 488 to 444 Ma an early Silurian period, when the Craton Baltica collided with the Terrana Avalonia to form the mountains and hills in northern Britain and Ireland. Baltica formed roughly the northwestern half of Ireland and Scotland. Further collisions caused the Variscan orogeny in the Devonian and Carboniferous periods, forming the hills of Munster, southwest England, and southern Wales. Over the last 500 million years the land that forms the islands has drifted northwest from around 30 degrees south, crossing the equator around 370 million years ago to reach its present northern latitude. The islands have been shaped by numerous glaciations during the Quaternary period, the most recent being the Devensian. As this ended, the Central Irish Sea was deglaciated and the English Channel flooded with sea levels rising to current levels some 4,000 to 5,000 years ago, leaving the British Isles in their current form. Whether or not there was a land bridge between Great Britain and Ireland at this time is somewhat disputed, though there was certainly a single ice sheet covering the entire sea. The west coasts of Ireland and Scotland that directly face the Atlantic Ocean are generally characterised by long peninsulas and headlands and bays, the internal and eastern coasts are smoother. There are about 136 permanently inhabited islands in the group, the largest two being Great Britain and Ireland. Great Britain is to the east and covers 83,700 square miles. Ireland is to the west and covers 32,590 square miles. The largest of the other islands are to be found in the Hebrides, Orkney and Shetland to the north, Anglesey and the Isle of Man between Great Britain and Ireland, and the Channel Islands near the coast of France. The islands are at relatively low altitudes, with Central Ireland and Southern Great Britain particularly low-lying. 
The lowest point in the islands is home, Cambridgeshire at minus 2.75 metres. The Scottish Highlands in the northern part of Great Britain are mountainous, with Ben Nevis being the highest point on the islands at 1,343 metres. Other mountainous areas include Wales and parts of Ireland, however only seven peaks in these areas reach above 1,000 metres. Lakes on the islands are generally not large, although Loch Ney in Northern Ireland is an exception, covering 150 square miles. The largest freshwater body in Great Britain is Loch Lomond at 27.5 square miles, and Loch Ness by volume whilst Loch Mora is the deepest freshwater body in the British Isles, with a maximum depth of 310 metres. There are a number of major rivers within the British Isles. The longest is the Shannon in Ireland at 224 miles. The River Severn at 220 miles is the longest in Great Britain. The Isles have a temperate marine climate. The North Atlantic drift which flows from the Gulf of Mexico brings with it significant moisture and raises temperatures 11 degrees Celsius above the global average for the island's latitudes. Winters are cool and wet, with summers mild and also wet. Most Atlantic depressions pass to the north of the islands, combined with the general westerly circulation and interactions with the land mass. This imposes an east-west variation in climate flora and fauna. The islands enjoy a mild climate and varied soils, giving rise to a diverse pattern of vegetation. Animal and plant life is similar to that of the northwestern European continent. There are however, fewer numbers of species, with Ireland having even less. All native flora and fauna in Ireland is made up of species that migrated from elsewhere in Europe, and Great Britain in particular. The only window when this could have occurred was between the end of the last ice age and when the land bridge connecting the two islands was flooded by sea. As with most of Europe, prehistoric Britain and Ireland were covered with forest and swamp. Clearing began around 6000 BC and accelerated in medieval times. Despite this, Britain retained its primeval forests longer than most of Europe due to a small population and later development of trade and industry, and wood shortages were not a problem until the 17th century. By the 18th century, most of Britain's forests were consumed for shipbuilding or manufacturing charcoal and the nation was forced to import lumber from Scandinavia, North America, and the Baltic. Most forest land in Ireland is maintained by state forestation programs. Almost all land outside urban areas is farmland. However, relatively large areas of forest remain in eastern North Scotland and in southeast England. Oak, elm, ash and beech are amongst the most common trees in England. In Scotland, pine and birch are most common. Natural forests in Ireland are mainly oak, ash, witch elm, birch and pine. Beech and lime, though not native to Ireland, are also common there. Farmland hosts a variety of semi-natural vegetation of grasses and flowering plants. Woods, hedgerows, mountain slopes and marshes host heather, wild grasses, gorse and bracken. Many larger animals, such as wolf, bear and the European elk are today extinct. However, some species such as red deer are protected. Other small mammals, such as rabbits, foxes, badgers, hares, hedgehogs, and stoats, are very common and the European beaver has been reintroduced in parts of Scotland. Wild boar have also been reintroduced to parts of southern England, following escapes from boar farms and illegal releases. Many rivers contain otters and seals are common on coasts. Over 200 species of bird reside permanently and another 200 migrate. Common types are the common chaffinch, common blackbird, house sparrow and common starling, all small birds. Large birds are declining in number, except for those kept for game such as pheasant, partridge and red grouse. Fish are abundant in the rivers and lakes, in particular salmon, trout, perch and pike. Sea fish include dogfish, cod, sole, pollock and bass, as well as mussels, crab and oysters along the coast. There are more than 21,000 species of insects. 
Few species of reptiles or amphibians are found in Great Britain or Ireland. Only three snakes are native to Great Britain. The common European adder, the grass snake and the smooth snake, none are native to Ireland. In general, Great Britain has slightly more variation and native wildlife, with weasels, polecats, wildcats, most shrews, moles, water voles, roe deer and common toads also being absent from Ireland. This pattern is also true for birds and insects. Notable exceptions include the Kerry slug and certain species of wood lice native to Ireland but not Great Britain. Domestic animals include the Connemara pony, Shetland pony, English mastiff, Irish wolfhound and many varieties of cattle and sheep. Demographics the demographics of the British Isles today are characterized by a generally high density of population in England, which accounts for almost 80% of the total population of the islands. In elsewhere on Great Britain and on Ireland, high density of population is limited to areas around, or close to, a few large cities. The largest urban area by far is the Greater London Urban Area with 9 million inhabitants. Other major population centres include Greater Manchester Urban Area, a West Midlands conurbation, West Yorkshire Urban Area in England, Greater Glasgow in Scotland and Greater Dublin Area in Ireland. The population of England rose rapidly during the 19th and 20th centuries whereas the populations of Scotland and Wales have shown little increase during the 20th century with the population of Scotland remaining unchanged since 1951. Ireland for most of its history comprised a population proportionate to its land area. However, since the Great Irish Famine, the population of Ireland has fallen to less than one-tenth of the population of the British Isles. The famine, which caused a century-long population decline, drastically reduced the Irish population and permanently altered the demographic makeup of the British Isles. On a global scale, this disaster led to the creation of an Irish diaspora that numbers 15 times the current population of the island. The linguistic heritage of the British Isles is rich, with 12 languages from six groups across four branches of the Indo-European family. The insular Celtic languages of the Goadelic subgroup and the Britonic subgroup are the only remaining Celtic languages, the last of their continental relations becoming extinct before the 7th century. The Norman languages of Gernesherais, Geriais and Sarkis spoken in the Channel Islands are similar to French. A cant, called shelter, is spoken by Irish travellers, often as a means to conceal meaning from those outside the group. However, English, sometimes in the form of Scots, is the dominant language, with few monoglots remaining in the other languages of the region. The Norn language of Orkney and Shetland became extinct around 1880.